College admissions scandal helicopter parents? More like lawnmower, well-heeled parents have been begging and borrowing to get their children into elite colleges for decades. Our admission to a Topascal has become a status symbol like owning a fancy car, a yacht, or a second home. Thus, it should be 50 people, including 33 parents, worry Ayat his week with a variety of offenses including cheating on admissions exams and bribing coaches to get into competitive universities. I understand the anxiety parents feel. My son is a high school, but even for a college administrator like me, the admissions process can be daunting. Anxiety is the norm for students and parents alike. But at what point did these parents come to value getting their children into a particular college more than they value modeling honesty and integrity? Is obtaining admission. The sad truth is, we've been on this trajectory for a long time, and anyone who works in higher education has seen plenty of evidence. The parents charged, all parents want what they think is best for their kids, but we have lost our way when parents think it is okay to cheat, steal, and bribe to get their kids what they couldn't get on their own. Wealthy individual, I don't think parents 20 years ago would have colluded to game the system rather than encourage their kids to work harder. Nor would those parents, such parenting is poor preparation for the world college students will live in. Call me old fat, at Alma College, where I am president, our faculty have built our curriculum around hands-on experience to international study, research with faculty, internships so that challenge students by encouraging them to engage a world they don't yet know, try bold experiments that may not work as planned, explore career paths that ultimately may not be a fit. We know that these 30 should not be the new 20. We need to demonstrate to our children, and to our students, that they are responsible for their own successes and for their own failures. If we are forever, these 33 parents are just the most egregious example of a trend long in place. Their case is a set. We would be better off today if we focused on helping young people to make their own way in a world that they will be in charge of soon enough. One of our most important Jeff Abernathy is president of Alma College in Alma, Michigan. The views expressed in this essay are the writer's own.